So we are in Oldscrum now, we're on the top car park uh, on one of the buildings. So, dollar prices, here we go, are you ready? This is a new revolution in reselling. I got this for two quid, it's brand new and sealed Xbox game, 19 99 for this. Again, went within a few weeks, so two pound into 20 quid, I'll take that all day long. Welcome to the ad show, the show that stuffs the pleasure into reselling. All night long, baby. Today, Adam and I are heading off to Altrincham. We'll probably call in Nutsford on the way there because we've, we've got parcels. We've got parcels to uh, post. Um, and then heading into Altrigan, we've got quite a bit to get. Obviously, we're going to go around all the charity shops, and I want to go into Marks and Spencers because we need vegetable beds. And, and Debenhams. And, and Debenhams. Yeah. Um, and there's no MS in Northwich anymore, so I have to go to Altrigan. <laughs> I am in Nutsford at the moment, uh, just dropped the parcels off and been to a charity shop. Uh, I'm going to hit up a few of the others now and then we're going to get off to Altlingham. Outside, what's this one? Piccolinos. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we've got a few more charity shops to do, haven't we? We have. I've just been in two. You've got a couple of things, haven't you? But I haven't I've only I've only been in one. Oh right. Okay. But yeah, we've got a few more to do. So that's right. The rumours are true. We are back for another charity shop hunting vlog. And today we are in Nutsford, and we'll be shortly proceeding to a town called Altwingham as well. Now, Nutsford, if you aren't aware, it's quite an affluent area and the prices kind of reflect that. So if you're ever in the sort of the northwest area, the Cheshire area, um, I would kind of just say avoid Nutsford, really. I only ever get a couple of items. It's not to say that there aren't items there, but I only ever get a couple of items. You can see we're coming across a nice plush, though, at the moment. So did I actually pick that up or didn't I? Uh, you can find out in the haul video, but it's a nice Disney store one there, as you will have seen. Uh, I'm just having a nice little browse for all the different uh, sections of the charity shops now. I like to really have a big dig deep uh, in charity shops and look at all the different sections, really, except the clothing for good reason, as you all will all be aware. I don't really like clothing. Um, but yeah, coming to the end of these clips now anyway, so I will sign off for now and I will see you later on. Right, so I'm just going back to the car. I have actually got a couple of items despite the higher prices in Nutsford uh, and we'll be off to Altingham in a second. So we are in Altrincham now, we're on the top car park uh, on one of the buildings and we are going to go and hit up some charity shops aren't we? We are. Yeah. We are. There's my mum. Hello. Getting some bags out aren't you? Getting ready. So yeah we've got, uh, what, where else do we normally go here? Is it Sainsbury's or Tesco isn't it? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, and then, I always feel like somewhere else we go. I, for, I forgot where it is. Do we not go somewhere else? I don't know, I don't know. No, I don't know. No, right, so charity shops and then uh, just hit up Tesco to see if there's any RA. way. Normally there isn't, there hasn't been the last few times, but no. we'll see anyway. I mean, you it never know. It depends what mood we're in, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Normally, if we're in a negative mindset, things don't go so well. If we're in a positive one, things go okay. I'd say today we're a bit middly. Well, I'd middly. say I'm middly. I wouldn't uh, yeah. say I'm positive or negative, really. I'm just middly, <laughs> middly today. So as you will have seen by now, we've headed on over to Altrincham, where the charity shops are a little bit more reasonably priced. And there's plenty of things on offer in Altrincham, bric-a-brac, toys and games, clothing. In fact, there is quite a lot of clothing. So it's a really nice little town to go and visit if you're in the area uh, and you want to do a little bit of picking around the charity shops. Um, I didn't get too much today from Altrincham reselling wise. I did get a few items. I generally never come back from Altrincham empty-handed. Probably there's been one time I've done that. So generally I always get a few items. But I actually got more items for myself today than I got to resell. Now that is a very rare occurrence for me. Normally I get more items for uh, reselling than for myself. But I actually went in the Oxfam bookshop there. And I got plenty of books uh, for my own reading. So that's quite cool. Um, as you can see here, we're just going around a few of the charity shops. This is the Age UK shop. I think the Age UK shop in Altingham is probably the best one uh, with regards to actually picking up some good items to resell. Uh, there's always something in there normally. I mean, there's been times where I've come out of there uh, with, with my hands full, really, with quite a few items. So, yeah, it's always a nice little town to visit. But anyway, I'll sign off for now and uh, I will let you get on with the rest of the vlog. So we have done the charity shops and I'm now in Tesco just having a look at the small little selection of toys they have on offer um, Some of the Lego and stuff see if there's any reductions Doesn't look like there is any yeah, it doesn't look like there's any reductions on the Lego um, So I'll have another look around another aisle because sometimes we put some of the sales stuff on another aisle um, usually on one of the ends of the aisles, but it is only kind of a small selection of toys here Although it is a huge Tesco you can probably see um, But I wish we did have a few more toys on offer. So here is all the Lego uh, as you can see as I mentioned There's not really anything on offer doesn't look like it anyway So yeah, that's all that I mean even if it was on offer I'd have to it'd have to be sort of like 40 or 50 percent off because yeah, a lot of Lego sets aren't doing particularly well at the moment. I don't know why, but they're not as good as a couple of years ago. So I am being a bit more picky with the Lego I'm picking up to invest in or to sell within sort of 12 months or so. Um, and there's loads of other toys there, but yeah, no, just nothing's on offer today, which is a shame. So we're in M&S at the moment, stocking up on the food. Yeah, stocking up on yummy, the food. yummy. I'm so excited to get the M&S fix. Yeah. Because as you said, there's not one in uh, Norfolk anymore, so yeah, a bit annoying. So we are just walking back to the car. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, you're going out into the road. Uh, so yeah, we're just walking back to the car now. We are done in Altrincham. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of bits. I got more items for myself than I did to actually resell. But yeah, I liked the things that I got anyway. So it is the next day now and I'm going to share with you the few items that I picked up yesterday around the charity shops. So it was a nice little day out yesterday. We also went on to see my grandparents as well afterwards, which was quite nice. I don't think, no, I didn't include any of that in the vlog. So yeah, we went on to see them as well, which was quite nice. I actually only got four items to resell from... Definitely over 10 charity shops, but I don't know how many I was trying to work out how many possibly 14 or something like that Which is pretty poor uh, One of the items actually is a bit of a fail which I'll show you in a minute 
What I've also done is put on the dollar amounts, the dollar prices uh, for these items, both the dollar buy price and the dollar sell price, because I know that more recently a few more of the US guys have come over to my channel and I thought, oh, that would be a good thing to do, because I'm sure that when the US guys are watching us or when I'm watching the US guys, you know, you're ending up working out in your head, what's that in my native currency? Well, you don't have to now, because I've put the... the Oh, I'm so good. I'm so conscientious. Even though I only got 46% in the Big Five Personality Traits test for my levels of conscientiousness. I just blow that out of water. Forget about what the Big Five Personality Traits test says. I'm taking my destiny into my own hands and I'm getting like loads of conscientiousness back. Anyway, so... With that being said, let's get on with this. I also picked up seven books for myself. So yes, I am going to go through them. Despite a lot of you going, oh, why do you have to go through them? I'm going to go through them, but I'm going to be quick at going through them at the end. But yeah, with that being said, we'll get on with the first item that I picked up. So, shall we start with the fail? So, this is a really nice looking little item, lovely little bowl. I've had these, I've had loads of these type things in the past. Uh, you can see on there, I've put... Yeah, it's got a chip, no, uh, exclamation mark. Uh, but yeah, it's a lovely little bowl. It's like an Art deco -y one, uh, hand-painted, obviously, here with these kind of little strands of, a sort. I don't know what you call them, like the long strand, strands of grass, or what do you call that really, really tall grass? I don't know what you call it, but it's that anyway, isn't it? And then little red bits that are meant to represent some flowers. Um, and yeah, you've obviously got this um, very well-known kind of black rim. They did this on a lot of stuff. And then it's almost got this kind of square design, again, that makes you realise that it's kind of Art Deco. Um, J.H.W. and Sons Hanley, and it's Falconware. I've had Falconware so many times in the past. Don't know whether you can see it there, Falconware on the bottom. Um, but unfortunately, in my haste, I didn't check properly whether it had chips or anything, or crack or anything. And it's got, it doesn't actually have a chip. I said on that post-it note it has a chip, but it's a crack. It's a, I wouldn't say it's quite as small as a hairline crack. I mean, it's more hairline as it tapers off. But at the top, it's actually, you know, you can see it's a fairly decent crack. So that's a bit of a shame. I paid three quid for it. Now, I think originally, I, I was thinking of putting this on maybe 15 to 20 quid, possibly 20 quid. And then if I need to come down to 15, I'll do that, obviously, plus my postage. I don't really know whether I'm going to list it now or whether I'm going to, you know, list it for a really low price or something. I have listed uh, pottery with cracks on in the past. Maybe, you know, if a £20 item, a £30 item, something like that. And I've just really, really slashed the price and they have actually sold. So it might be worth me listing this for a very low price and just get it gone and at least get some money back for it opposed to obviously just donating it to a charity shop or something like that. Um, I did sell something with a chip on uh, and it was a fairly yeah it was a fairly big chip as well it was, it's like a big kind of I don't even know how you do it I mean it was a chip but it was all like all the glaze had come off and everything and I sold this item for £9.95 or something and it, it was only about a £25 item anyway a £25 piece so you can do it uh, I know there's a lot of people out there who are quick to say oh well if it has a crack in it you just don't sell it or whatever but you can you can sell them. You can't sell everything, but you can sell certain bits, and they will go. It just takes might take quite a while for it to sell. But you know, it might be better getting some money out of it than just redonating it. So anyway, that's that one. The chances are I probably will list it, but I'm just gonna have to go really really low on it and just get my money out of it essentially. But yeah, a bit annoying on that one. And as I say, I paid three quid for that. So, dollar prices. Here we go. Are you ready? This is a new revolution in reselling. So, so I got this. Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll show you the item before we show, share the price. So, spot the intro. It's the jukebox edition. I think this one, brand new and sealed, as you can see there. Obviously, I was going to pick, pick this up for Christmas. Now, I've already photographed all these items, so I took the sticker off, but it's on the back there. And it was one ninety nine. this in charity shop, so I was pretty happy with that one. Um, and yeah, let me share with you the price on this. So this is Amazon, because I'm going to be sending this to Amazon. £28 or $34.52, is that? I know, $34.25. Cents? Cents? I'm not used to saying that. Is that right? Cents? I don't know. Um, one ninety nine or, what's that? $2.43. Um, so do you say cent or cents? Cents doesn't sound right to me. Cent. 
for $2.43. I'm going to say that, right, okay, I'm probably wrong, but I don't live in America, do I? But anyway, um, it's always intrigued me, though. Uh, $28, £28, uh, for, well, let's just remove the cent, or cents, or, oh, God, that's so hard to say. Um, £28, $34, £2, or $2, but basically £2 and $2 there, because of the exchange rate being pretty close at the moment. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool on that one. 28 quid, pretty happy with that from £2 investment. Can't really go wrong. Nice item for Christmas. Um, and I like picking up Spot the Intro. I've picked it up quite a few times. Uh, mainly brand new and sealed. I don't really pick it up used. I think I might have done really early on in my reselling, but I don't really pick it up used anymore. So yeah, pretty cool item. Nice little profit in that one. So, next, we've got this um, Disney frame. It's a wooden frame. It's actually quite nice. I wasn't expecting it to be so good quality, actually, this. I looked at it in the charity shop. I thought it was plastic or something. I mean, I picked it up and I thought, bloody hell, that's wood and that's got some good quality to it. And you've got this, um, I don't even know, is it kind of heat blasted in or something? I don't know what the actual technical term for it is, but it's kind of like heat. Uh, engraved is it heat engraved is that what they call it i'm not sure but it's really nice with that disneyland logo there and then the castle up top there um it's quite a large frame now i've not seen this one on complete and sold i've seen various different frames and they're all over the place but generally you know some of the smaller ones have gone for around 10 to 15 this is a slightly larger one so i've actually decided to go for 20 quid plus my postage on this one or 24 dollars there as you can see and i paid three pound for that one or close to four dollars there as you can see so you know i think i'll try it for that and uh, someone should pick it off for that but if i need to come down to maybe 15 then i will do that i've got the room to maneuver with it um but yeah hopefully uh 20 quid on that one so nice looking at the light in there and i've never really seen a disney frame or if i have they've been only the very very small ones and i've not bothered but i've never seen like a really nice one nice size one like this one and uh, you know a decent quality one so pretty happy and pretty pleased to pick up something different and then yes finally for the reselling items that is pretty much it uh, we've got this, uh, I think it's a hyena from the Lion King, um, I did type it in, it is, it is definitely a hyena, but I don't know whether it's from the Lion King or not, I can't remember what the listing said, but it did say on the listing, uh, that a best offer had been accepted, and it was originally up for $34.99, so I'm just gonna go for the same price there, you can also see that it's got its stamp on, and you can see it's, you know, an official Disney one, um, but yeah, it seems like it's a little bit of a rarer one, this one, I saw it, and as soon as I knew it was Disney, I automatically thought that it might be a rarer one, because, Obviously, I'm out and about quite a lot, and I see a lot of the common ones all the time, but I've never seen this one before, so I kind of thought instinctively, oh, it's probably a bit rare, it's probably maybe 25 quid, something like that. But uh, it was a nice surprise to know that I might be able to get 35 uh, quid for it, or $42, uh, or and I paid £3 for this, or close to $4 there, as you can see. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. Nice little item. Um, and it's always nice when you can find a plush that's really decent money. Because, uh, you know, you find a lot of them that are 10 to £15 pound sort of thing. Um, but it's only occasionally you find them for £30, pound, £40, pound, £50. Pound. Um, so, it, it, yeah, it's nice, that one. I may end up having to come down to around 30 or accept an offer like that other guy did. Um, potentially, as I say, of around 30 quid. But even so, from £3 investment, and I'm happy just to accept 30 on it. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. So I've decided not to show you my books because I've just spent 20 minutes rambling about philosophy uh, because of showing you my books. God, it makes it sound like a euphemism, showing you my books. Um, but I'm not going to do that because no one wants to sit through a 20-minute philosophical lecture um, on a reselling channel um, based on the books that I've bought. On second thoughts, I can't really waste the entirety of a good little ph philosophical chat. So what I've done is just pulled out a tiny little segment, well, I say a tiny little segment, maybe a minute or so, um, of me just having a chat. So welcome to Storytime with Ads. 
So I really do want to learn a bit more about that. If you're wondering why I'm reading a book on Hinduism, I have a philosophy channel. Uh, my side kind of interests, aside from reselling, are psychology, religion, specifically the philosophy of religion, philosophy, of course, uh, metaphysics, which again is a branch of philosophy. Um, what else? Uh, mysticism, spirituality, uh, anything to do with the... Uh, transcendent and all that sort of stuff, um, anything to do with the divine, uh, theology, you could even say that would relate to, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff, so I just, I relish that, I absolutely relish it, and for me, it's little more than a form of escapism, I, and I know that makes me sound like I'm uh, reductionistic to religious beliefs, but I'm not saying it in that way, I'm saying it for me, it's, um, I don't necessarily take relig all religions as gospel. I don't necessarily take all religions as this is the one true way or anything like that. I don't believe that there's necessarily a one true way to live. live it life is so spontaneous and so crazy and so different that um, you can't really ever have one true way to live. You know, there's, there's ways of doing it. There's ways that could be considered a little bit more efficient or a little bit more human, let's say. But really, there's no one true way to live. So I just I just dip into different religions and I hear about the stories. And there's some brilliant stories in Hinduism and there's some brilliant stories in Buddhism as well about hungry ghosts and about, uh, you know, elephant. There's a great story in Hinduism where there's an elephant who is get, he's getting bit by a crocodile on, I think it's his back right leg. And uh, he's, he's getting bit by this crocodile for like a thousand years and then the Lord Vishnu, who is the, the, the preserver god, comes down and hands him the lotus flower. Um, and, and that's obviously a sign of moksha. Moksha is liberation or enlightenment, if you want to call it that. And then he's freed from his suffering, this elephant. Begins with a G. It's obviously it's not Ganesh, um, because that's a, a different god entirely. And this elephant wasn't necessarily a god. Um, but it begins with G, but I can't remember. G-A something, anyway. But it's about, you know, you have all these wonderful, vivid, incredibly powerful stories that that I just like to escape into and, and enjoy and and, and and so that's what I mean and, and it's yeah, it's just it's just brilliant, you know, and just exploring all these different ideas that humanity has created, all these different uh, things that we do, it's absolutely brilliant. And I know some people get off on science or some people get off on I don't know, engineer, you know, it doesn't really matter what you get off on, to be honest, it's all brilliant, you know, it's all, all these different things that we're doing, it's, it's all, there's something for everyone, and it's all, it's all, it's all brilliant, you know, but, but not everyone can see it like that, a lot of people tend to have their own beliefs, have their own kind of, uh, way to live, and just completely shut down to that, and don't entertain anything new, whereas I like to dip in and out, I've always been like that, even when I was in school, actually, and yes, I know I'm rambling now, but live with it for a few minutes, you know, it won't kill you. Um, when I was in school, I never used to have one fixed social group. I used to just dot in and out of different social groups. I love that. Right, don't worry, story time is done now. And yes, I don't need reminding in the comments that that was more than a minute, but I just got my kind of timings wrong. So yeah, it was about three minutes or something, but I live with it, you're alright. So, basically, this is going to be a bit of a disjointed haul video, because I'm going to have to add this onto the end of the other haul video. But yesterday, I went back to Nutsford, the place that I went the day before. Uh, obviously, the day before, I went to Nutsford and Altrincham, which you will have seen in the vlog or the charity shop hunting part of this video. Um, and I went to Nutsford to go around Tatton Park with my friends. Now, if you're in another country when you're watching this, or you're maybe at a different part of the UK or anything like that, then you might not be familiar with Tatton Park. Uh, it's quite a famous park in the UK because it holds the, uh, I think it holds the uh, RHS flower show and then when the Antiques, uh, is it Antiques Road show when that comes around that's always there and you know it's fairly kind of a uh, well-known park really. But anyway, basically, it's just a park, you know, we had a walk around, there's trees, there's birds, there's bees, there's waters, there's deer, there's sheep, there's, you know, all the rest of it, there's humans going around, there's people with lycra on the bikes and stuff, looking like they're all professional, but it looks a bit weird, really. But anyway, no offence to people who do 
biking, but God, it does look a bit weird, doesn't it, with those really, really tight shorts and everything. Um, but, you know, there's all that there, and, you know, you have a good time, there's a big mansion there, and so, well, it's not a big mansion, but it's like a, a medium-sized mansion. Anyway, I digress, you don't need to know all that, but I'm just saying that's what we did. And then, my friends endured with me for 20 minutes of going around the charity shops, so I picked up another couple of items. Now, one of these items, I'll get it up now for you, actually, one of these items, this one, you will have seen in the vlog, I think I did do a section where I showed this on the vlog uh, and I didn't pick it up on the uh, Tuesday because it was stickered up at, where is it here? It was stickered up at £10 there, I don't know whether you can see it. £10 for these five TDK uh, 240 VHS tapes. Now, I've sold these quite a lot. I've had, I actually bought one time uh, 45 singular tapes for, for £45, so £1 each and I did so well on those. I was flipping them. From £1, I was getting about £7 back or something for each single one. So I must have made a good amount of money. I must have made, what, uh, 300 quid in sales from a £45 investment. So I was really happy with that. It was a nice little, um, nice little pickup. So I've sold these before. But I looked at them on Tuesday and I thought, 10 quid. Mm. I don't really know whether I want to go on them at that. Anyway, I didn't scan them into Amazon. I just had a quick look on eBay. I don't know why I didn't scan them on into Amazon on that day. But anyway, we go around the charity shops and I see it and I, and I scan it into Amazon yesterday and it comes up at 35 quid. And I thought, mm, 10 quid into 35 quid, you know, maybe a year or two ago I would have taken it, I would have done it. Um, and But it, it really was like, oh, 10 quid's a bit bit much, you know, I was thinking that, I wish it, I wish it was a bit less. But anyway, I decided to go on it because I thought, to be honest, it's not going to take me much time to list. It's just a quick scan into Amazon. And it did come out on the Amazon seller app. Now, you've got to be careful with the Amazon seller app profit calculator because it can sometimes be a little bit off. So you've always got to be a bit um, wary of it, a bit give, have, have a little bit of give and take. That's what I'm trying to say, but I'm muddling up my words, aren't I? But have a little bit of give and take and maybe estimate the profit a little bit lower than it's saying. But it said that my net profit on this would be £17.00. Pound and 24 pence or something so obviously 10 pound into 35 quid um so yeah i'm estimating maybe about 13 to 15 quid or something like that profit but i thought i'd go on it anyway i've done the whole u.s prices again i'm actually getting to like this a lot it's kind of like i'm i'm going across the pond you know i'm getting a little bit wet here aren't i oh no don't take that out of con oh go for god's sake anyway um 43 well okay 12, uh, oh no, that's thrown me now. I'm get, I'm, I'm, I'm thrown, my train of thought's gone. Right, okay. Um, $12.29, right, okay. No, no, we're not doing the cent because I, I don't know how to say that. $12 into $43, I'm going to do that. Anyone who knows, anyone who's an American who's watching this, is it cent or is it cents? And, and I can't say cents properly, can I? Because I say it with an S, it's weird. Um... Anyway, uh, yeah, so $12 into $43 there, so I'm pretty happy with that. £10 into £35. I always think, oh, I, I, I like saying it in the dollars because it sounds like more. So I think that's probably why I like doing it. But yeah, brand new and sealed that. That'll just go up there for, uh, obviously, Q4. Actually, I'm getting my Q4 pile out very soon. I'm going to do a segment on that, as I've said in the past. Um... And yeah, that'll be interesting, so that'll just go in there for now. And then the other one item I got was this brand new sealed Falcon Christmas puzzle. I was debating whether to pick this up at three quid, but I thought, you know what, there's got to be £10 plus postage in that on eBay. However, I scanned it into Amazon, and it's on Amazon for 20 quid. It's got, it is a bit of a high rank quid, really. it's about 300,000 in toys and games, which for me is a little bit too high, as I've mentioned in the past. But to be honest, um, as we get close to Christmas, the rank will probably improve on this, so I will send it in. Um, so yeah, 20 quid on Amazon. So what's that there? Oh, wait, I've put... How have I put that? Oh, yeah, right. So I put it a different way, a different format on this post-it. But £3 I paid for it, which is $3, well, close to $4, so I don't have to save a cents. Uh, oh, no, I've just said cents there anyway, so I've had to say it anyway. Um... Or, uh, and then, so £3 into £20, or close to $4 into $24, so pretty happy with that. Now, I don't know, is it, are the margins the same in the US? So, for example, let's say, I got, let's do a little calculation here, calculations with ads this, isn't it? Um, so, let's say you're a US guy and you're watching this, comment down below what you think about my kind of analysis. So, when I buy an item, I think, right, 
I want, if I'm buying an item for three quid, I want minimum 10 quid plus my postage, right? Preferably 15 pound plus my postage. So if you're buying an item in the US, if you're a US guy watching this or a US girl watching this, if you buy an item for three dollars, do you want, let's say, fifteen dollars plus your postage minimum, or do, you, or would you be happy with maybe twelve dollars and ninety nine cents plus your plus your postage? I don't know. It's interesting. If the margins the same, I'm just, it, uh, or maybe you go for a little bit more because the value of the dollar is a little bit less than the value of the pound. So maybe if you, let's say, I want three, let's say I've got a three pound item and you've got a $3 item, maybe you want a little bit more out of that. Maybe you want, like, $15 plus your postage or a bit more, you know? I don't know. I don't. It's hard. I'm trying to work it out. I've always... I, I, I've thought about that quite a lot, actually, over the years, and I've never really talked about it with people, but I wonder if there's... If you go for a bit more, you know, or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just exactly the same, but I would say... Three dollars sixty-seven into twenty-four dollars. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. That's a pretty decent margin. But then someone else might turn around and say, "Well, no, I'd want a bit more than that, or, or I'd be happy with even a bit less than that." So I don't know. I mean, I suppose it's just subjective, isn't it? At the end of the day. But anyway, I'll leave it there for that one, and uh, I will see you in the next one. It's taken us seven minutes to talk about two items. That's what you get with a whole video of mine. Anyway, I'll see you in the next segment. So, welcome to the final segment of today's show, and this week we're going to be doing the past week's sales. I've actually got 12 sales to share with you today, uh, instead of 10 last week. I had another couple that I thought, oh, I quite like the look of those, so I'll include them in the sales update. Now, I know what you're thinking, this has just been the same format as last week's show, but obviously with just a few different things in there. For example, the vlog was different, the whole video was different because it had different items in, and the sales are going to be different, obviously. But we're a bit bored. It's a bit samey. You know, we want some fresh content coming in. We want some new different segments popping into the ad show. So don't you worry. I'm well aware of that. You know, I'm, well, I'm 10 times ahead, me. I'm 10 steps ahead. We've got a new segment coming in next week. Uh, it's going to be a one-off segment, actually. And that's going to replace one of the regular segments just to keep things fresh because... If you want to keep things changing, you have to keep things fresh. No, that's not it, is it? If you want to keep things fresh, you have to keep things changing. That's the quote that I made up. For God's sake, I'm I can't even remember my own quotes, can I? Anyway, so with that being said, let's get on. Let's whip the phone out and let's see what sales I've had over the last week. So I've got my trusty phone out and we are ready to get on with the sales. So without any further ado, I will get on with this. So first off is this Vintage Christie's Brown Dog Tooth Country style flat cap UK size seven and a quarter ten pound plus postage on this one now that is a little bit low sometimes I can get a little bit more than that even for the flat caps from Christie's possibly around 15 pounds something like that I think one of them I have got around 19.99 for as well but it was a better one than this one it was actually a segmented one do you know those flat caps that are round like that and we have sort of eight segments on them I think they are kind of like those Peaky Blinders hats. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, and obviously, Trilbys tro will go a little bit better. You'll get a little bit more money for them, especially if they are Christie's. Most probably, I picked this up from a charity shop for around two or three pound. So not the best margin on this one, but still, you know, it's a bread and butter item. It keeps things ticking along. So yeah, nice little one there. Now, next, we've got these DC Universe action lead Batman vs. Deathstroke and Superman vs. Wonder Woman. These are like little figure packs. I don't know I don't know whether blister packs would be the right word, but I I'm not sure. I'm not really well up on all the, the lingo with figures and, you know, action figures and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, they're nice little figure packs, these. $14.99 plus my postage now. A lot of you will be aware at this point because I have just talked about it to death, really. But my dad, uh, his friend, basically gave me all of his old wholesale wholesale stock for free. Um, and I offered him some money and he wouldn't take it. I've, I've said this story so many times, so I'm sure a lot of you are getting bored with it by now. Um, but you never know, there might be some new people to the channel who haven't heard of it. And I'm like, oh, well, I better say it. Um, but yeah, forty nine nine plus posted. So I didn't pay anything for these. And I've sold so many of these figures. It's incredible. I've got so much money back for them. So I'm very, very grateful to that guy for obviously giving me all that stock. And, and obviously he just wouldn't take any money for it, which was... 
ridiculous because I was more than happy to give him some money for it because it was really, really good quality stuff. But yeah, he was very, very generous in that way. So yeah, that's that. Fourteen ninety nine plus my postage, and I'd say free for them. So yeah, pretty much uh, pure profit after postage and fees. So next we've got his Vintage Blast Phoenix Folding Fan Fire Guard. Oh my god, that's an alliteration there. Folding Fan Fire Guard uh, Screen Fireplace. Um, 49 plus my postage on this one. Really, really nice item. I got this in a... Oh, actually, was it a brass job? It might not have been a brass job. It might have actually just been a random box from an auction. Anyway, it did not cost me a lot in one of them random boxes. I would say not even four or five pound. I would say probably about two or three pound as uh, kind of an individual cost out of one of these uh, job lots. So really, really cheap. Um, unless it was in like a higher value brass job lot, but I don't think it was. Honestly, I don't. So yeah, didn't cost me a lot. Even if it was in, even if it did come to me in a higher value brass job lot, probably not going to have cost me more than about five or six quid anyway. So yeah, really, really good margin there. Um, so potentially maximum cost to me would be five or six quid into forty nine ninety nine plus my postage. So yeah, really, really cool. And I picked it up and I thought, well, you know, when I saw it in the box, I thought, oh yeah, that's going to be some decent money and I was right it was some decent money so I was pretty happy with that I had a lot of interest in that item as well so if you see them out and about definitely don't hesitate to pick them up so long as they're in good condition because you will get a sale fairly quickly you know the interest is there for those items um, so yeah just definitely pick them up if you see them and they're obviously a decent price next we've got this vintage George Butler Dubarry dining cutlery knives times five I did a whole video on these knives not long ago these were just some of the random loose knives that I had and just five knives got me 20 quid so for five knives I got 20 quid which is awesome I picked up a whole load of this cutlery for 40 quid was it 40 quid yeah I think it was 40 quid in a charity shop and I got loads of different sets if you haven't seen the whole video I don't think it's um, you know it wasn't too long ago that I did the whole video maybe three or four weeks ago or something so you should be able to find it fairly easily on the channel um, is it that one where I say yeah it is that one it's the one with the thumbnail where it has a big thumbnail and it says profits and then there's a little oh, focus is gone there profits and then it says loads of different things on uh, loads of different like dollar signs on it so it's quite a bold thumbnail so you should be able to find it but yeah 19.99 plus my postage on these those really really happy with that one and some nice uh, money in that job lot definitely considering i got 20 quid for five knives there next we've got this xbox original total immersion racing video game new and sealed uh, again i got this from a charity shop i think it might have been the same day that i picked up that cutlery actually and i got this for two quid it's brand new and sealed xbox game 19.99 for this again went within a few weeks so two pound into 20 quid i'll take that all day long fantastic little margin there so yeah that was a nice one there next vintage copper brass planter window trough lion head um 11 by four inches i got 19.99 plus my postage for this one lovely looking little item again i think i paid two pound possibly three pound at the car boot again it'll be in one of my most recent hauls this didn't take very long to sell again only a couple of weeks something like that um and yeah i think i paid two or three pound but i do say what i paid in that haul video but it was no more than three quid i'm pretty sure it was two quid she said so yeah that's that one there Next, another item from the car boots that I did not long ago. Uh, to me, to you, my first Tatty Teddy blue grey uh, bear this is actually new with new with tags as well um 9.95 free post on that nothing spectacular nothing out of the ordinary however i paid 40p for this bear so not a lot of cost involved for me so still a nice looking little profit in that one even though it is very very standard bread and butter kind of sale um so yeah that's that one there nothing much to be said about it um maybe this is actually going to like a young kid or something or possibly a baby or something because it says my first tatty teddy hopefully it will be um but yeah that's that one there next another item from a car boot i did a little bit before the other ones actually um but this was a nintendo dsi handheld games console boxed with game and charger um and it did i don't think it had a stylus this actually um i paid four pound at the car boot and i got 24.99 
plus my postage for that one. Now, obviously, if they add different things, if it was maybe had a few more games with it, if it had its stylus, that sort of stuff, it might have got me a little bit more. Um, but $24.99 plus my postage, I was happy with that. I said in the whole video that I didn't know whether it was working. Well, I charged it up and it did, it did so actually work. It happened that it was working, so I was thinking, thank God that's working because uh, it'll get me some good money back now. So, four quid into 25 quid plus postage. Again, nice little margin on that one and I'm very happy there. Next, we've got this vintage large studio pottery yellow green fish design bowl. Uh, and I've also tagged on there a little keyword of home decor. Always nice to put something like that in your title if you've got characters to spare. Home decor, wall decor, something like that. Um, if it so happens to be an item that man cave would fit in the title, then put something like that in there as well. Um, and yeah, 19 99 on this one, plus my postage. I got this out of a job lot that was basically just a range of these studio bowls. It was a very, very large studio bowls. There was about five, five or six in the lot. I think I paid £10 plus commission for them. Possibly two or three quid individually they, they owe me. So yeah, two or three quid there into 20 quid plus my postage. Happy with that one. You know what I could have put in the tile? I don't know whether it actually is. But those fish on that bowl there look like the sign of Pisces, don't they? So I don't know whether I could could have got away with putting Pisces in the title there or not. But actually, on hindsight, that would that might have been a good keyword to put in. So yeah, that's pretty cool, that one. Uh, next, we've got this Orpheus Music Box uh, DIY Toy Model Kit. Brand new and sealed. I paid a fiver for this in a charity shop when I was in... Macclesfield a few months ago, maybe three months ago. So yeah, twenty-seven ninety-nine for that, twenty-eight quid plus my postage for my fiver. I mentioned in the whole video that I'd be looking to get back around twenty-five to twenty-eight quid. I think I said, and uh, you know, I got twenty-seven ninety-nine plus my postage. So pretty happy with that. Always love picking up brand new and sealed items because you don't take much photography or much listing. There's not a lot of effort there with them. So yeah, that's really nice. That one, nice little margin again on that one. Next, we've got this black Dinky Toys Austin Taxi Vintage Diecast Model, £15.29 plus my postage. Now, I got, I, I used to get, uh, last year, I used to always buy the Diecast job lots at auction, and I got loads of them, and I made some really, really fantastic money on them. In fact, there was a job lot that I got for 40 quid plus commission, and out of three cars in that job lot, I got about 120 quid back, just out of three small little Diecast uh, cars. One went for about 40 quid, another maybe went for 50 quid, and another went for 30 quid, or something like that anyway. Um, and yeah, just out of three cars, and there was loads of cars in these job lots, so I was doing really, really well on them. And then obviously there's loads and loads of cars in there that were £10 plus postage or £15 plus postage. And possibly there's a few that were less than that and at the time I may have decided to put them on. But obviously these days I have a minimum uh, list price of £10 plus my postage. And less, there's, there's certain exceptions where I'll do less than £10 plus postage. But generally most of my items that go on I want them to be minimum £10 plus post. So yeah, this was just one of those cars out of one of those job lots, £15.29 plus postage. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of scuffing on this, a little bit of play wear, as you can see here. Um, but, you know, it doesn't put someone off. They will still buy them. And uh, this will just be pure profit after postage and fees, really. So pretty happy with that little die cast there. And then I think this, yeah, this is the final item. We've got these vintage two small brass plaques, Vermont 1996. Or is it Vermont? Yeah, it is Vermont. I always... I always think there's a silent T on Vermont, so it's like Vermont, but it's not, is it? It's actually Vermont. Uh, 1996 and 2000 USA, UK, uh, little brass plaques here. Really, really cool items. It's a shame that I didn't get more for these. I think I originally had them up for maybe 14 99 something like that. Possibly even 19 99 I think probably 14 99 though. But, you know, they just didn't sell for that, and they came down in price slowly to £11.57, plus my postage. Um... But I wanted to include them in the sales because they're interesting. They're just different, cool items. Um, and yeah, you know, it's still some money back from. I will have got these in a brass job lot. Probably not have cost me a lot. Maybe one or two pound um, there as, you know, an overall cost for them. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Can't really complain. But it is just a shame that I couldn't get a little bit more out of them. Because as I say, they are just interesting items. So that is all the sales for today. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. And uh, I will be back next week as normal. And as I say, there should be a different segment in that show as well. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing.
And if you did like today's show, then please do like it down below. And don't forget, if you want to comment anything down below, please do so. If you have any questions for me, then drop them down below as well, because there will be a question and answer segment coming in one of the shows in the future. So any questions that I get down below, I'm just going to collect them, uh, kind of collect them all up. And then obviously when I do that segment in a future show, I'll have plenty of questions to answer. Um, and as I say, I can include that at the end of one of those shows. So I will see you in the next one, guys, and uh, thank you very much for joining me.